Hi friends, Mindy here. I have a process video for you today. This is going to be a pretty simple page. Um, this is for day seven of Twisted Scripture from By the Will for God. I'm just going to start out with adding some color here to my background pages. These are the white pages from the Traveler's Notebook. Um, if you've seen the construction of how I did this journal, I used those pages. Um, to create this journal. And so I'm just going to spray some coffee on here. I have this coffee in a little spray bottle that I just keep on my desk. It's just an easy way if I want to kind of get that coffee dyed look without having to go through the whole process. So I'm just spraying down these, pre these pages pretty well. And then, um, I will hit this with my heat tool to get everything dry, kind of, um, seeped through just a little bit. I went a little heavy handed, I think with the spray, but that's okay. Um, and then I'm just going to dry that really well. And then I want to use this piece of pattern paper. This is, um, coordinates with the kit and I'm just going to use my, um, Tim Holtz decal edge trimmer there to cut down the pattern paper. I'm not creating pockets with this particular set. I just wanted this to coordinate with kind of when you flip the page over, there's a piece of this that's kind of sticking it in the middle of the signature. And so I just wanted everything to coordinate really well. So I'm taking one of these big numbers from um, By the Well, and I'm gonna stamp this on one of the die cut pieces from the, um, from the kit. And it does go over the image just a little bit, um, but I'm not too worried about that. And then um, I just wanted to make sure that this number kind of stood out just a little bit. So I'm taking a really light gray Tombow marker and I'm just going to kind of give it a highlight there over on the right side and kind of underneath here. So um, just to give it a little bit more interest in the end, you'll see this in the close up pictures at the end. I actually went back through and colored that with a really light brown just to, again to just make it pop up off of that image a little bit off of that die cut a little bit more. And then I have, um, I've already written all my scriptures and everything out, um, off camera. So I'm going to start out with gluing these pages down again. I just trimmed, I just cut this down, um, straight down the middle and then I distressed everything with vintage photo. And now I'm just going to glue these down. I'm not making these into pockets or anything. These are just going to be sort of background pieces. So I'm applying quite a bit of glue here because my pages are pretty, um, pretty wrinkly from the coffee dye. And then you can see on this page, um, on this next page where I have already half of this paper, I'm just going to go ahead and stick this into my trimmer here and get that same kind of deckled edge here. Um, I just wanted to have kind of the consistency for all of those pages. And then I'm going to go through and ink up the edge of this again, using, um, vintage photo. I'm actually using the distressed ink though, not the oxide um, or the archival ink, excuse me. And so um, I just went ahead and did all of the pages for that. And then I want to work on this middle section. You can kind of see where I wasn't really paying attention. And when I was heating this, I think the wax from that wax linen thread kind of absorbed into my paper just a little bit. So I want to kind of mask that a little bit. So I'm going to use this stencil. Um, this is also from By the Will for God a few months ago. Um, I can't remember. It's afflicted something. Um, but this is the one that is Taryn's grandpa's handwriting. And I love that, that stencil. I use it all the time. Um, it's just a great background stencil. So I just added that a little bit of that just to kind of mask some of those areas. And as that dries, it does get lighter, but, um, for right now it's pretty obvious. And so I want to include this tag. This is a tag that I have made previously, um, to doing this page and I just wanted to have the whole thing. So I used one of these clear pockets that I got at the dollar spot at Target a long time ago. Um, when I was doing a different page, I think it was day five, I had used this stencil on, um, with some texture paste on some brown paper. And so instead of just, I want, I didn't want to waste all of the texture paste. So I just, um, did another pass through and I used that tag. And so that was kind of left over and it gives you another little ephemera piece that I could use later without having to bust out all of my stencils and texture paste and stuff again. So, um, right now I'm just working on this little cluster down here at the bottom. It's going to have the number on it. I have these little pieces of like corrugated cardboard. This was actually from the back of a, um, coffee sleeve and, um, which is a whole different project that I'm working on. But, um, 
so I, I just really liked the texture that they had. So I went ahead and glued those behind this little ephemera piece um, or die cut piece. And then I'm going to glue all of this down. But I'm not putting glue on all of the corrugated part. I want it to kind of be crinkly and curl up. I didn't want it to get too flat just to give it some extra interest over there. And then um, just gluing that little section down. And then I'm going to add a clear sticker. This is one of the ones that has the... Um, the text behind it that's a video that just posted i think yesterday um where i just used some ink to kind of um add some interest to that sticker it's kind of hard to see i think on camera but i just stuck that right down to that clear pocket and then i want to create a little tip in with this journaling card that has the scripture for today we're looking at the old testament um justice versus you know jesus version kind of and how that eye for an eye concept kind of gets twisted a little bit and so um i just created a tip in using the faux washi and then whenever i do that i always like to put clear tape on the inside or something on the inside just to make sure i don't have an exposed edge and then on this back side here i'm doing that same thing i just want to um, for continuity i'm just using that stencil here again on this coffee dyed paper but on this side, I do, I did create a pocket because I have some more journaling cards and notes that I wanted to include. This um, ephemera piece, this die cut is actually from um, a separate set that you could get. This was extra die cuts. So I just pulled one out and then I distressed the edge and I'm going to create a little like tuck spot because I have um, on the back of the little flashcards for this day, I have just written out some of my own personal notes and thoughts and stuff. And so I'm just um, going to tuck those right in here as another little little pocket, um, just another way to keep everything together. And then, um, I want to add a little bit of fabric up here to the top of my tag, a little pull. So I used one of the, the little bow clips that came in the kit and I just deconstructed it. And, um, I'm just tying that at the top of my craft tag here that has all the scriptures on the back of it and then just tucking that into my pocket and you'll see in the close-up photos at the end I actually um, went back and put the title for this day which is Old Testament Justice and I colored that number seven you can kind of see there so if you like this video I would appreciate it if you gave it a thumbs up that just helps other people find my channel subscribe if you haven't already and until next time bye